Hello, this is ConsulTX here for the February 1st, 2019 Heat Signature Daily Challenge. The challenger today is Jean Baptiste Fox, something like that, who is a tough ex sovereign silencer with no gun to silence, but this he is ex sovereign. A high capacity crash trap, which might be useful for killing like the last guy on the third ship or whatever. And three slipstream uses. So, this first ship is target flees with nothing of particular note. I'm probably just gonna pop the slipstream use, throw my long blade at the guy who... Oh, notably, actually, I can't break windows without having the slipstream speed, so I need to keep that in mind. But, yeah. I'm just going to throw my long blade at the assassination target and then run out a window while not being seen at any point. That's my current game plan. Use one, slim, one slipstream use per ship. That is the... That's the ideal... Oh, what a bad docking job. It's the ideal usage pattern. Six second docking job. Okay, these guys have glitch dashes. You know what, I'm just going to not use a slipstream use because running down into these guys and then running back up, <clears throat> I'll risk being seen. I'm going to use I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a slipstream use. I'm going to use a slipstream use. I'm not going to fall for that. I'll have time to slice these guys before the slipstream speed runs out. So what I was worried about was if I run down and then run up, uh, then the, the glitch dash guys might be able to see me. And if I kill them, then I was worried about losing my momentum, but because the slipstream is still active uh, when you first start using it, unlike later when it's not active but you're still using it, um, I can just kill these guys. Hey, he dodged my, my bullet. I forgot to pick up the key card. Alright, now I can't lose my momentum. Because if I do, then bad things will happen. I wanted to kill that guy and then yoink the key card to run through, but I teleported a gun to me right before that, which meant that I couldn't teleport the key card to me, which was a bit silly of me. Okay, so I want to assassinate this guy, so I'm just going to use guns to do that. I'm not going to use the item teleporter because I want this key card. item. I want to stash everything that's here. Oh, that wasn't really worth it. Actually, it wasn't worth it at all. So that was a questionable run through. I mean, it's still very fast because I just used a slipstream, but I was doing a lot. I, I made a lot of minor mistakes with the item teleporter teleporting a gadget to me when I needed a key card or not having a gadget because I'd used them all like I should have been keeping my longsword with me um, a lot more than I was so I mean that was that was amateurish but it should be fine because with the slipstream I go super fast and I think that most people aren't going to use the slipstream to do every ship so let's see I have a crash trap so I can deal with the assassination target. The alarm response is target flees, which is not something that I'm going to waste time on. The defenders are going to be a bit tricky because I'm going to have to run up to them, drop the crash trap on them, and then kill everybody. 
which is like a whole thing. It's also very annoying that I started in range of the ship. Yeah, so I gotta. That wasn't that bad of a docking job, but I started in range of the ship when I got out of the station, and so. I should have been paying attention to that and waited for the ship to go by, but alas. So, going through here, I'm just going to yoink this key card. Let's see, do I want to steal this item too? It's kind of out of the way. I'm not going to bother. Yeah, so I'll just ignore those guys completely. Get this key card. this guy on my way out. So I need to blast the assassination target. Or I need to blast his buddies and then I want to crash trap him. all these shotguns because I'll have to bring them with me later. And then I'm going to yoink this crate just because it's not very far out of the way. Ooh, that actually is a good pickup. I'll stash that even though it's not useful to me. shotgun and a quiet shotgun and two regular guns. So these are more precise than the shotguns at long range. These are for murdering everybody. This is for getting through the whole ship. This acid trap is going to be useless, but this crash trap is going to be vital. And this is another one. Ooh, a predator. Okay, so I'm going to have to shoot the predator at long range. The jammer shouldn't be an issue because I only have my one slipstream use. The boss I can just crash and then murder. And a defender, I would need to crash manually, so that's kind of concerning. So the predator is definitely the biggest concern, but hopefully the ship is big enough that I can just completely avoid them. And if I do run into the predator and I end up killing them, then I can uh, then I can take the crash blade, and I can use that to kill my target, which means that I could I could throw the crash blade at them, which would mean that I wouldn't have to get up close to them and drop a crash trap on them, which risks being seen. So, yeah. And then there are many sentry guns, but that's that's not something that stands out to me as important. Gosh damn. Am I in range of the ship again? No, okay, we're fine. Um, I can't go to the secondary door because I just don't have the The, I don't have any sort of gadget that can get me through a locked door. I can't even make noise. Because I am a silencer. I wonder if I should blow out this door. Just, eh, not gonna, not gonna mess around with something like that. Okay, unlock, go. So I'm probably gonna run to the right. And then I need to take level 2 from them? No, that's way... So that's more efficient, but there's so much risk in... Okay. Go this way. There's so much risk involved in that that I'm just not going to mess around with it. I'm going to go this way. Grab level 2 from the terminal here. Because it's just way safer. It might even be faster, because I'd have to run in there. No, it definitely wouldn't be faster. But I'd have to run in there and then run through. Avoid the sentry. I guess nobody has a glitch dash, so really, this was unnecessarily safe, but... Oh, I lost my momentum. Okay, that's really bad. So, now what do I do? Well, I'm just gonna have to kill everybody. Well, not kill everybody, but I'm gonna have to kill lots of people. Okay, blast the 
this guy. Oh no! Wait, I got seen as well? <laughs> wow, everything just went horribly wrong really quickly. I'm surprised I got seen there. I wasn't in the open for that long. I guess they just immediately see you when you have a dead body on the ground, but there's only one living person there. I don't know, kind of confusing. Really, really bad mistake. Wait a minute, that's not what I want to do. It's fine. Forget how to do the trick where you, th where you, because you don't actually throw the trap in order to have it be active while it's flying towards somebody. You like throw it. And then you grab it, and then you drop it, but it has the speed from being thrown, I believe. Uh, I don't, I don't quite remember how to do that. Wow, that would have hit me if it wasn't for the wall there. Yeah, this has gone quite poorly, quite quickly. Uh, ooh, a key corner, though. That's cool. Alright, um, I'm going to... Crash trap. Uh oh, there we go. Then kill him. Crash beam. Take that. Okay. Then I'm just gonna kill everybody in this general area. Okay, well, that went fine after everything was said and done. I got three penalties. I got three penalties? Who, what's the third person? Saw? Well, whatever. I got three penalties, which is pretty bad. Um, I mean, it all went wrong when I let myself lose the slipstream momentum by deactivating a sentry while well, I was too close to the door. Uh, and I think that actually was an extension of the mistake of not just running through the room of guys. I think I should have run through the room with guys, just because it's it's just more efficient. And I was being too timid there. Then I lost my slipstream momentum, and everything went horribly wrong. Uh, I and then I got kind of careless. Well, I don't know. I didn't really deserve. I don't think I deserved to die when I walked out uh, and the sentry shot at me. I thought I could have gotten back behind the corridor fast enough, but the game decided I should be dead, which was unfortunate. Um, yeah, I mean, after that, it was fine. It was just an exercise of crashing people and then shooting them with shotguns. But if I had had the slipstream, I would have been able to run through while shooting people with shotguns. And I would have gotten a much faster time. Much faster time and no penalties. So yeah, that was just a big pretty big mistake um i mean yeah that's just the 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 problem was that i messed up and i lost my my momentum uh if i hadn't done that i think i, I would have been fine darn darn yeah it's fine better than yesterday's daily where i where i totally threw it away i was like i'm gonna slam the ship with a brick Oh yeah, speaking of yesterday's daily, did Reneko end up in first? No, third, okay. Two people got perfect scores, yeah. And they took a long time, too. Reneko was inches from getting a perfect score. It wasn't even, like, what happened was the jammer gate that he subverted to get through crashed one of his, uh, one of the guards, and then that guard got shot by a teammate. So... 
like it was just a it was just a string of slight misfortunes that resulted in that guard getting knocked out and him getting a penalty and he could have certainly he didn't he didn't trade the penalty for a faster time so what i mean by that is the fact that he got a penalty didn't give him any boost in speed which means that if things had gone slightly differently, if he had played them slightly differently, he would have had a, a similarly fast time, but no penalties, and he would have been in first place. So, and that would have been really, that would have been really impressive. I mean, that that was a that was a hard daily, and also uh, a daily laden with perils. So that would have been a good one to get number one on. I thought he, when he did, when he finished his daily, he was still number one. And so I thought, and, and it was like relatively late. So I was thinking it might stand. And that would be really cool because that would mean that on a daily that wasn't who can get the fastest time, there was no perfect score. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. So good job by Viridia and Zazaza on yesterday's daily. On today's daily, um, Turtles JBH sticks Dominator 101 HKC and Alizar. I don't recognize the name Alizar. I don't know if it's come up. Oh, hey, Viridia is there. Uh, I don't know if the name Alizar has come up before. I don't recognize it. Looks like he took a long time. Everybody else was pretty quick, although. Yeah, Turtles JBH was faster than me, although I was really slow after I lost the speed from my slipstream. I think I could have gotten number one, although it wouldn't have been easy to slipstream through because there were because the only thing I had was a crash trap and there were a lot of people with shields that I would need to take key cards from and there was that big open area with the predator and even with the slipstream speed it would be non-trivial to navigate that area without being seen uh, so I maybe would have gotten a penalty anyways even if I hadn't made the like silly mistake of uh, of deactivating the sentry wall too close to the door. So yeah, um, interesting daily. I kind of messed it up, but not as badly as I messed up yesterday's daily. So we're working, working our way back. Anyways, that's it. This is Consul TX signing off. <laughs>